If you're trying to decide on whether to use Wix or Squarespace for your website, then keep watching because we've used both of these platforms in the past to build tons of websites. And today we'll be going over a comparison of both of these platforms based on our experience. And so we'll be talking about things like the different price points, the different features, as well as which one is best for you as a beginner. Let's get started. So first let's take a look at the pricing plan starting with Wix. And on here, it doesn't show, but there's actually a free Wix plan. If you guys wanna get started for free, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out. But with this free plan, you guys aren't going to get access to a custom domain and the features are going to be pretty limited. So we actually recommend upgrading if you're going to start off for free. But with all these plans, you get access to a custom domain. There's no Wix branding and there's also 24 seven customer care. Now starting off with the cheapest plan, they have the light at $16 per month. And with this, you don't get access to any of the e-commerce features. So for that, you'll have to go with the core plan, business or business elite. And those are going to be $27 per month, 32 and $159 per month. Now, on the other hand, let's take a look at Squarespace. Now for Squarespace, they don't have a free plan, but they do have a 14 day free trial. So if you guys are interested, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out. Starting off with the personal plan, they have this at $16 per month. But as you guys can see, their personal plan allows you to have unlimited bandwidth and storage. And going down, they don't allow e-commerce unless you upgrade. But once you do upgrade, you're gonna be paying a 3% transaction fee for the business plan. So although it is $23 per month, and that's cheaper than the Wix plan of $27 per month, Wix isn't gonna charge you any transaction fees. So that's probably where Wix will come up on top. But looking at their commerce basic and advanced plans, it's overall cheaper than Wix. But later on in this video, we'll go over whether or not Wix is worth it, even though it costs more than Squarespace. Now at a glance, Wix and Squarespace are pretty similar. They're both really good options for beginners who want to create really good looking websites. And as you guys can see here, they have a bunch of customizable templates. If you guys want, you guys can scroll through and check all of them out yourself. With Squarespace, they have a bunch as well. And again, you guys can check out Squarespace on your own to see these templates yourself. But yeah, if you guys are interested, we have other videos on this channel that will teach you step-by-step -step how to create a website as well as an online store using both of these platforms. But now let's go over some of the biggest differences within their features and then go over which one is ultimately best for you depending on what type of business you have. So with Wix, they have an automatic backup feature. Whereas with Squarespace, you have to backup content manually. With Wix, you also have access to better SEO. And this is because of their built-in SEO Wiz feature. Squarespace does have some SEO customization features but it's not as advanced as Wix. So if you're trying to make a website that ranks higher in Google search, then that is definitely something to consider. Now with Wix, you also have access to more customizations as it's a true drag and drop builder. This means you can move any element anywhere on the page, literally pixel by pixel if you want. And then moving on to the cons, I would say that the biggest one is that you have limited storage space on Wix. As you guys saw, the basic plan only allowed you to have two gigabytes worth of storage space, but they do also have a free plan that you guys can check out. Although we wouldn't recommend that in the long term, because you don't have access to a custom domain and you're gonna have Wix branding all over your website. Now with Squarespace, I would say that this is a website that's really good for bloggers because with this website, you have unlimited bandwidth and storage and it's a lot easier for beginners if you're not trying to customize your websites as much. With their drag and drop builder, you can only drag elements into rows and columns within a certain section. And so unlike Wix, where you can literally drag elements pixel by pixel, with Squarespace, you can drag them within a section. I would also say that the e-commerce features aren't as strong and there aren't as many apps and add-ons as Wix. So yeah, overall, the customization is just a lot more advanced on a platform like Wix. So does that make the price worth it? Well, the bottom line is that while both of these platforms are great for building websites as a beginner, I think Squarespace is much better for beginners starting off with a blog, whereas Wix is better for all other websites. And it's also for you if you want more customization as well as a little bit better SEO. Now, is this the best SEO? I don't think so. I think WordPress beats both of these platforms in terms of SEO. So if you guys are interested in that, I recommend going with a platform like Hostinger or SiteGround. If you guys wanna check out those platforms, we do have other videos on this channel that will go in depth on those. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the comparison on Wix and Squarespace. I hope this video was valuable to you. If you're interested in full tutorials on how to create websites with these platforms, as well as links down below to Wix and Squarespace, if you wanna get started for free with Wix or the 14 day free trial with Squarespace. Anyways, that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.